I think it's highly irresponsible and it shows lack of leadership when these CEOs make 300 or 400 times more than the lowest employee. Um, what that does is it, is it, is it puts them so far out of like reality. Um, like this lady of one of the big three that is justifying a 40% raise for her, but only wants to give a 21% raise for the employees. Um, She makes like thirty million dollars. I just don't see why how these people could live with themselves having that much resources. Um like why? Why do you need that much? You know, I hear the left defending the unions which I'm not a big fan of unions at all um, I'm a part of one not by choice uh, before when I was here before at this job I was a part of the union not by choice and as soon as we got to opt out because of some of the laws changed in the state I opted out I was one of the first people to opt out um And then the right just complete, like, they, they defend greed. I have no problem with people being more well off than others. But I think that there just becomes a point where it's just, like, absurd. Billionaires making, like, why? Why is one, one person have so much assets, so much value that, like, they might have more value than an actual country. Why is companies like Google so big that they're like one of the top three? Like, you put all the countries up for how much they make, how much they produce, and their value. And then, like, it could be like a. A, a, a company being in the top 10 over with all, like the biggest countries. You know what I mean? It's like, I just think that they have too much power. I think it's like, I think it's poor leadership. And listen, man, if you're making, um, if you're making like, 30 bucks an hour right now. You're not, you're struggling to can like, um, like where I'm at with a family, you might be struggling if you're trying to sustain a lifestyle that, uh, tries to, you like, like you're back in high school trying to care about what other people think trying to keep up with the Joneses yeah you're gonna struggle and I think that's a, that's a lot of people's mindset they're just still stuck in this high school mentality of I gotta have the newest car I gotta have the biggest house I gotta have all the name brands there's like a lot of people that are not humble It's because of how they were raised. A lot of people were just handed really good lives when it comes to materialism. But I just, I just, there's just something off. I'm sorry. Like, I get it. I get it. You need to have capital. You need to have people invest in companies. And then the investor needs, needs to, because you need to have the machines. Like, the machines break down. You need to have new machines that come in because the machines wear out. Um, and that takes, that takes, uh, 
investment. You know, like this whole this whole thing where the workers like they're not they don't invest into machines. They just go there and work. So you have to have infrastructure. You have to have a building um, to produce things. But it just seems like there's such a huge a huge gap between the workers and the elites. Um, and it just, it's just, it's just widen, widening, um, and people are, they associate, uh, money for a quality of life. Um. Let's look at um, somebody like Hunter Biden. Guy, the guy's a druggie. You know, who, who's, whose cocaine did they find in the White House? Which they still don't know. I mean, I guess they don't do fingerprints or nothing like that. They can't fingerprint people that have went through there. So I guess it's a strange thing. They can't find whose, whose cocaine that is. But, that's, you know, this guy's a degenerate. And he and he was wealthy. He's rich. His father's rich. He's rich. Um, and then and you compare his life of being degenerate, getting prostitutes. Um, and I'm not saying that I haven't been degenerate. Maybe the guy's swishing around. And and anybody can switch things around in this life. I don't think that he has. But I don't know. Maybe he has. Uh, I'm just a w regular working class person. Uh, I've, I live a way different life than most people live that I work with. You know, I, I don't, I'm, I, my life is pretty much sober. I don't like to drink, uh, and a lot of these wealthy people like to drink. A lot of these people are alcoholics, especially the politicians. Um, I don't, I don't do drugs. Um, I don't smoke. You know, I, I'm going to, the, I go to the gym on a regular basis. You know, I, uh, when I go to the gym, I do the sauna, and then I go hit a cold shower. So I'm like, my body is like being tested a lot. And then I go to work and work a manual labor job in the cold. You know, most people aren't going to want to do get up at 5 o'clock and walk to the gym. I'm about a mile from the gym. You know, that's what this is. This, this walk is walking to the gym and then I walk home obviously after the gym you know most people that I that are on my level aren't gonna do that a lot of people are just you know worried about getting their job done so they can go home and consume like and there's you know there's nothing wrong with people like that because we need people who are like that that are average people that produce stuff but look at my quality of life which I don't have material things I don't you know compared to somebody like Hunter Biden who is a degenerate um, I'm trying to up my game on a spiritual level I'm trying to raise my vibration um, I'm continuously trying to gain more knowledge. The, the stuff, the stuff that I, I listen to highly, highly intelligent people. And, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get every single thing and I don't recall every single thing that I listen to or hear. But the stuff I listen to is, 
it's such different than everybody else because everybody else is consumed with TV shows, movies, um, you know, or watching sports, which is cool, man. That's cool. That's how you relax. But like, you know, I play video games. I, I like to play. What I do is I play right now. I play like NBA or I play Madden. Madden is a joke, but so I'm listening to highly intelligent people when I'm playing it. Podcasts. Tim Pool or huh, Russell Brand, which it's so weird that like everybody's making a big deal that Russell Brand is being demonetized off of YouTube when that's been going on for the longest time is because he's he's big and now it's being put on the, the lights being shed on there. A lot of people have been be been demonetized off of YouTube for no reason. Um, I really like Russell Brand. I respect what he says. I don't listen to him all the time. Um, there's, there's more creators that I listen to more than others. Some, you know, like I like Redonculus. I think that and, and not all the time. Some things I kind of get annoyed with, with any of them. But a lot of these people are highly intelligent, um, that I listen to. And it's just so much, so much different than what regular people are into. I have a really good understanding of uh, what's happening with our society and culture, with current events. Um, and the average person it's hard for me to relate so like what i know that they don't want to talk about deep conversations like i do so i try to like joke around you know i try to use like humor um or like talking about video games or sports sports is a good thing it's a pretty general thing that a lot of people have like common people have knowledge about um, because if you try to talk about serious things with common people that don't understand, uh, which I, I, I'm technically a common person. It's just, I feel like I'm, I just have more knowledge because of the highly intelligent people I listen to. Um, Joe Rogan, Thomas Sowell. The Hodge Twins, Steven Crowder, you know, Turf Flinging Monkey. They, these people are, even even Destiny, like some of his things, I hear some of his clips. These people are highly intelligent. Um, I just, I just gain more knowledge and I don't, it's hard to relate to the average person. Somebody like uh, Hunter Biden would relate to the common people more than I would. Um, a lot of a lot of wealthy people, you see it like you look at um, these people that make these motivational videos. Like, oh, I get up at 5 a.m. every morning, I write two books, I climb five mountains, I start eight businesses every single day, I'm just killing it, I'm grinding, killing it. Those type of people. Well, um, some people are very successful when it comes to finances. Those type of people, like, they're, like, Mark Zuckerberg. They're doing jujitsu, you know. They're doing cold plunges. They're doing sauna. They're doing, um, they're not consuming. You know what I mean? They're doing other things. 
I think that these people are relatively sober most of the time. And I and I honestly feel like I probably Tim Pool. I relate to these people more than I do comma people. What I Here's the thing too about famous people. I think that famous people generally are they definitely have skill. There's some type of skill when it comes to charisma or um, talent. But it's mostly being at the right place at the right time. And a lot of it has to do with luck. Like, look at Kurt Cobain. You know, somebody that I really admired growing up and I still admire... Um, his music some of the stuff he stood for not everything I don't agree with on everything but generally speaking that dude would be was a loser man he did drugs he he was a parasite off his girlfriend at, at back in the day so like he he spent years with this girl she provided for him like his mom or something and he and he wrote he spent a lot of time crafting a skill during that time and then he realized she she doesn't he kind of used her so he, he and then he threw her away when he started getting a following bigger I guarantee you, if he never got famous, if he didn't start getting bigger, he probably wouldn't. He probably would keep latching onto her, because he didn't want to work. He didn't want to provide for himself. He wanted to keep doing drugs and being degenerate, not fixing some of his emotional traumas from uh, when he was a child not spiritually developing and it was the right place at the right time and it just had the right he had the right song at the right time. everything was just it just lined up um you know like Tim Pool like I think he was some type of reporter and he was just live streaming. I'm not saying the dude didn't work hard. He, that dude worked his ass off. Just like Kurt Cobain did work his ass off. He was work. He was like playing guitar 10 hours a day. You know, doing art. Making songs. Like, yes, he's working his ass off. But in order... In order for somebody to gain that type of skill... Uh, let's say, like, I... Like I I'm a young person and I want to be an athlete. I can't work a regular job and be a regular person and then go and work out. You know, if I want to play basketball, I can't be in the gym for four hours a day, every single day, and then go work a regular job. That that's you can, but I mean, it's really, really tough. Uh, so, like, you need somebody to provide for you so you can gain those skills. And with Tim Pool, like, he, he, you know, he got lucky. He, I mean, he was streaming, I mean, YouTube at the time, like, like he was a reporter or whatever. And I mean, listen, dude, the dude didn't even graduate high school. I don't think he went to college, you know, and, and he was a, a journalist. So right place, right time. And a lot of these people are just, you know how much talent, like, okay, Oliver Anthony, Right place, right time. It, it's just somebody heard a song that was a prominent figure. And it could have happened to me. It could have happened to me. You know what I mean? 
somebody hears one of my tunes, they're like, holy shit, that resonates. And then they put it on their platform. Do you know how much popular, more popular, like, you know how many more followers and all that, if, if, if Elon would just like respond to something that I tweeted, people would see it and be like, damn, that's all it takes, you know? Um, I like, I like people like, uh, Kurt Cobain and Tim Poole who they kind of try to bring other people up. Um, cause it's so hard for independent artists to make it or independent, like whatever, man, you need the machine. Like if you're an actor, you need the machine, like an agent to provide you interviews or fucking whatever they do, like screenplay or fucking, I don't know. I forgot what it's called. It's like a interview, like an acting interview. You know, these, these huge artists like Taylor Swift, like they're just, they're huge because of the machine promotes them and they put them into everything. They spend a lot of money on these people, put them into everything, put them into ads, put their music into ads, put them to video games, movies. Like if one of my songs was in a, a video game, you know. I would get more traction. It takes capital for that. Right place, right time, man. That's 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 pretty much uh, how these people are, or or they're they come from a place for with wealth. <clears throat> um, like I said, because what. Uh, they have somebody paying for them. They have somebody promoting them and it takes money. Ta promoting, marketing, it takes capital to buy ads. You know, putting your putting your face on a billboard, uh, putting all my records on a billboard, that takes money. Buying some commercial ads like on YouTube or the cable like it takes capital um so if you're just somebody that just out of the random blue like oliver anthony that that's extreme luck and, and like i said these 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 people it, it's mostly fucking luck man like i said there's so many people that probably have never been heard of have had so much talent, could have made it huge, and they just weren't at the right place at the right time, and nobody's ever going to hear their stuff. And they and everybody might just resonate with their stuff, but it's just like everything's it's yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> 